Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hey, I just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you that have supported the channel by watching, liking, engaging with the content, and that's been such a great experience. Thank you so much. Many of you found this channel through the NR200 content, so in that spirit, today let's check out what you guys have been busy with over the last year or so. Welcome to Machines and More. I put a little blurb up in the inner 200 subreddit not too long ago and while wow, seeing the builds that you guys have been doing with the case, it's eye-opening, it's inspiring, so I wanted to share some of the submissions with all of you here and maybe this will give you an idea or two, but yeah, really appreciate all of you that have shared. So let's just dive right in. For the first category, let's check out some work from you first time builders. That will be it the first time build ever or first ITX build. The NR200 has been such a beginner friendly platform and it shows. I mean, take a look at Chris Tofu's build here, even with simpler components like an i5-9400F and a 1060, even using a stock Intel cooler, it just looks so, so clean understated dark mode look the ram kit matches everything else so well just take a look at the cabling here great thought process concealing them that is a great job not to mention a first time build same with this one here Bugen 5 black love the use of a two slot card with 25 millimeter fans great for gpu cooling and yeah the Mugen 5 is just a great fit for the tempered glass panel and you're gonna see a lot of these today this next one from Jeb is a liquid cooled build. Also great job with the cabling. Man, you guys are knocking it out of the park with the cable management. You got zip ties using the tie down locations and man, Jeb, super clean desk setup too. Well done. JG struggling over here as a really neat vertical GPU build in the inner 200P. You got a 3900X and MSI 3060. This is a workstation plus gaming build here. Bottom mounted AIO with a be quiet Pure loop, which is uh, great for that type of setup. Super, super neat desk setup too, and I love the lamp. Desktop is as clean as the desk top, and no, mine never looks that clean, so well done. Here's a, another first time built on Homey. Thanks for your support. See you here on the channel a lot. I didn't have the specs, but I wanna say that's probably the 3080 gigabyte vision. It matches the case well, and the little engine that could, the SE 224 XT, awesome. Great idea with using the PSU cage holes for your cables and thanks for sharing. This next first time build here, seriously awesome. I can't believe this is your first time building a PC because this level of detail and resourcefulness is just awe-inspiring. All right, Luca Rollo's air-cooled 10700K and WX3200 workstation build is impressive. It has a workstation GPU, totally different direction than your typical gaming build with a three and a half inch HDD, special features like the add-on dust filter for the rear panel, masking that's been applied to, to that HDD, which matches the Mugen 5 Black. These are all neat, but look at that top panel. That's a custom 3D printed insert. Dust filter is removed because, well, you know, you don't need it when you're exhausting out the top anyway. But uh, what a cool creation here. It uh, matches the stock Cooler Master top cover so well with the hexagonal cutouts. Super, super clean shop area, great desk setup. And yeah, I just love that 3D model here. All right, how about some creative mods? Bagsen 9 wasn't about to let that air cooler clearance stop this Nocto D15 build over here. The side panel won't clear, well, just cut it out, right? <laughs> You'll see the dust filter at the back too. Really decent job for just using a pair of tin snips. Rubber trim is a nice touch and you concealed that cutout really well, but that's not all. This one comes in two flavors. You've also got the custom spacer for that glass panel to work really cool work here well you know the 5600x doesn't really need a d15 but hey if you can why not right and a nice looking 3060 ti vision too all right you air cooling enthusiasts want side panel clearance but you look at coolers out there you want to have your space to play in too right and you want height so Zocazola made a 3D printed top hat mod for the NR200P. Now this one looks like an EKAO with uh, thermal take fans. What a cool top hat. The alignment is great. Color looks to be a pretty decently matched filament, but uh, that top hat isn't the only addition because why stop there? Bottom panel to hold 140 millimeter fans, why not? Well, there's technically enough physical space. It's just that the design of the stock bottom panel prevents it from mounting flush. 
What an innovative and resourceful mod here. It does make the overall case bigger, but hey, height usually isn't as big an issue as the footprint. And this one here makes a really, really great use of the NR200 footprint. This next one from Astronet addresses something that many of you have wanted to do, and that's a hybrid water-cooled card with an AIO for the CPU as well. And you know, a top rad looks like it's just mounted through the top cover, slim fan to clear the motherboard, front mounted power supply just about clears that 25 millimeter fan perfectly. And yeah, you've got all the boxes checked off for fitment and uh, custom bottom panel looks like uh, you, you've done that here to house the extra thickness for that GPU and the rad. So really neat job. Um, I did see that the stuff was moved on to a meshy build, but hey, you know, that one looks really good too, and props to you for doing this one. Never Room was ahead of the curve here with this build that's dubbed Peaches. Custom painted orange panel, a really nice built-in display here, great desk setup, and I love how the aesthetic just flows and it really jives with that custom painted front panel. Uh, speaking of screens here, here's a few more custom displays on the PSU panel to inspire you. Express Crow's Gundam themed build over here, white NR200P, white cooler, white fans, what a bold aesthetic and I love it. 3700X and 3080 Ti, plenty of firepower and really neat looking cable management too. Murata 33's uh, white NR200P is also fantastic, yet clean lines, cooler master cooler with the knock to a fan swap, love the lighting. Also filtered rear panel, white fans top and bottom, and yeah, love the size comparison too here, right? The NR200 is on the bigger side for an SFF case, but heck, sometimes we just forget how small these things are in general. Now you guys are just running wild with the displays. Nivex here with the similar setup and a Mugen 5 Black, but hey, you've got that special pedestal for a special build and uh, the overall setup is fantastic. This one here is just a testament to the versatility of the case here. Neath Draw started off with a liquid cooled V GPU build and then moved on to a thermal right PA120. Really neat, cool transformation, really unique dual tower that you don't see too much. And I'm still marveling at how that NFA 15 stays in place. Cool midnight black GPU there too. The NR200 lends itself well to cable management too. For a first time builder, it's quite easy and it's a great to, uh, case to do some clean cable management uh, like you see here. But if you really wanna do it, you can get downright crazy on cable management like GoFog yourself has here. Now we will focus on different things for our builds, but this has got to be the cleanest and most meticulous and well-planned cable management in the NR200 I've ever seen. It's designed from the ground up to be neat. You've got 90 degree adapters, a fan hub, seriously great work. Great color scheme, or I guess lack of color scheme here with the blackout build. And this attention to detail, man, I love it. Whether it's fitting the biggest GPU you can, an elegant air-cooled build, or blending the case into whatever aesthetic that you're going for, or just expressing yourselves with wild color, you've all been hard at work accomplishing some seriously special creations. I'm impressed. This has been such a fun case to talk about over the last year or so and explore. I mean, you guys have all taken it to the next level in one way or another. So I found this super helpful. I hope you found this helpful and inspiring too. A big thank you to all of you that have shared your builds. Now this won't be the last one. Hope to check out some more of your builds. So keep up that good work. Please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below and thanks for your support.